welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Now I'm gonna show you one of the sweetest melodies on earth. It's called Ashokan Farewell by Jay Ungar. It's a fiddle tune written for the documentary by Ken Burns about the Civil War. So I'm gonna play the tune for you. I'm gonna be a very stripped down version, much more so than the original, just so you can kind of get the basic idea. And then I'm gonna do another video with some embellishment ideas that I came up with. And then a third video, which will be a play along track. So you can kind of play along with guitar and a little beat, kind of practice it that way. So, but anyway, here's the whole tune and then we'll break it down note by note when I'm done playing the whole thing. So, you kind of have to be at least an intermediate level to do this tune because you need to know raised third on the G string. And if, I recommend kind of starting with at least warming up with that. Well, you can warm up with a D major scale, the tune's in D. Um, and you could also warm up these fingers first on G, second. Raise third, open D. Another good one to practice is D to raise third, going back and forth. Some people used lowered fourth instead. And that would totally work. It just works for me to use the raise third, especially on this tune. All right, so I'm gonna, I normally don't teach tunes with pickups. Pickup is like a little lead in, but I'm going to for this because it seems to make musical sense. So we're gonna start with. So that's, um, the first two notes happen on beat three. One, two, three, and one. So again, those two notes are called pick, the pickup notes because they kind of lead in, they kind of pick you up into the tune. And then I'm going to add to that. That's ending on D2. By the way, all fingerings as usual are in the comments field below. So take a look down below to see that. And here we go, here's that again. Okay, one more time. And the next phrase starts first on D, I'm going up. Here's that again. That's followed by starting second on G. Open D. Here's that whole phrase. What came before was Now, putting them together. All right, 
let's do this a few times. This is the first quarter. I have this theory. I don't know if you could call it a theory, but um, that if you get the first like quarter or bar or two of a tune, it can really unlock the tune, help you remember it. So it's really worthwhile to really get this good before moving on. So you may want to, once I do this, pause it and practice it even more on your own because this will really just set you off on the right foot for this tune. Um, here we go. As much as possible, try to loop parts like that. That's actually a pretty big part. You could loop something smaller. It's really, to me, one of the most key things you can do as a student of music or just a musician is to, is to loop things. Um, okay, let's move on. That's the first quarter. Second quarter starts on G1. It's gonna kind of go up the scale. Oh, not up the scale, sorry. We're gonna go to G1, open D, two. And then after that, open A, open three. Putting those parts together. And then we're going to add this, another time on E1. And that was low 2 on E. Listen to it put together. Such a beautiful part. It's just sounds so open and just free. Again, two, three. One, two, three. Let's now play the first half. Put that together. Um, if you're unsure of either quarter, just review. Go back, rewind, and review. So one, two. I think the third quarter is the same as the first. Let's see. Yes, it is. And now the fourth quarter, a little different, but similar to the first, to the second, sorry. So that much is the same. For, that's the beginning of the fourth quarter, and so far it's the same as the second. But then we're going to do this to end it. By the way, for the music nerds out there, it's an A major triad. That is, and then ending on D. And by the way, speaking of triads, this part... is a D major triad. I'm not going to get into the theory of it. If you already are familiar with it, I just throw that out there to give you a perspective. But briefly, 
A triad is the first, third, and the fifth of a scale, and that's D major scale. So, so this this is different. Um, this is ver this is different notes from the first, third, and fifth of the D major scale. All right. So the D major triad is. So that's all I'm going to tell you in this video because I want to stay focused on the tune. So again, the fo whole fourth quarter is. Two, three again. Okay, so the second half is pretty similar to the first half. I'm just gonna play the entire A part now. I'm gonna play it slow with the beat and listen at first, then rewind and play along if you can. One, two, three. Let's move on to the B part. Um, gonna just jump into it with the pickup notes. It starts on D2, which is F sharp. I'm gonna start like this. Now I'm gonna keep adding. So it'll be like one, two, three, and one. Added two open on D. And then we're going to add A3 after that. Here it is again. I'm going to add an open A picking up the next phrase. I'll just start the next phrase. Actually, I think it's two notes. Here's that again. Here's that whole phrase again. Putting together the first quarter. One, two, Again, one, two. One, two. Good. Second quarter. Begins on D2. Lower this a little. Kind of interesting. It's it's basically like we do a lot of in jigs and waltzes. This is a waltz. We do a lot of like one, two, three. That would be an even more basic way to play this phrase. But what happens a lot is that the, the first note's extended a little and the second one is shortened. I sometimes refer to that as jig swing because it's kind of a similar 
kind of process that happens with swing in 4-4 where you extend a note and shorten in the next one. Cycle that. And then the, again, the more basic way to do it would be just straight. All right, but I'm gonna stick to the swing kind of way of doing it. Here's that again. That was G2 to open G. Okay, so I'm still working on the second quarter, and then we're gonna add to, after that. One. That's one on G, high three on G, up to open A. So before that, we had this. Then. Let's put that together to make the second quarter. Again. Okay, I'm going to put together the first half. All right. And now I'm going to do the third quarter. Third quarter is maybe like the jewel of this tune, I think, because we got open two. There's a D triad. And then here comes kind of the note, the main kind of magic note of the tune. And that's low two on A, which is a C. And that's followed by starting one on A. So, and then, which is a D major triad. I guess I gotta do a lesson on triads because they're useful. If you're good with triads, they pop up all over the place in tunes. So the whole third quarter of the B part. Here it is again. Again. good to cycle on any phrase. This one is particularly good if you're a beginner or intermediate because we have high two and low two. Um, all right, let's move on to the fourth quarter. Starts like the fourth quarter of the A part. That much is similar, then it's going to do something different. D2. That's 
G high three. Right there. Now I'm gonna just do, keep lowering the ca the camera angle as my hand, my arm is just getting, okay, that's about as low as I can go. All right, um, now I'm gonna do the entire B part. See by accident at the end. Here's the fourth quarter again. So I think that's plenty for you to get the tune. I'm just going to play the whole thing as like a mini play along track and then also put a link to another play along track. Um, but I'm going to play the whole thing one more time 1A, 1B with the beat even a little slower, I think and then say so long to you. All right, so here we go. One, two, 